Should you get a male or female Maltese dog? It's a tough decision to make, and we receive a lot of questions about this. After having spoken to countless Maltese owners, both new and experienced, we're going to highlight the main differences between males and females Maltese and explain the best way to know which gender is right for you. So let's get started. Number one training difference. Male Maltese are intelligent dogs that learn new tricks fast, but they're more energetic than the females. Compared to males, females are easier to train. They respond to commands quickly and seldom have problems getting distracted during a training session. Like the males, they need daily exercise, but a quick walk around the neighborhood should keep them healthy. Although training females is less challenging, they perform better in training after they're spayed. Before being fixed, they tend to exhibit their alpha dog behavior and may mark their territory on the furniture. Number two, health and care. Females live slightly longer than males, but their longevity depends on whether or not they're fixed. Although they have few medical problems, females can develop an infected uterus or mammary tumors. Vets suggest getting your female fixed before her first heat to prevent the conditions. Since they can have puppies by the time they're four months old, you have a brief period before they should be fixed. Number three, breeding. If you've browsed breeder listings for Maltese dogs, you probably noticed a significant difference in the price for males and females. Males can cost up to $1,000 less than their female counterparts. Because demand is so high for females, the price is much higher and the females are sometimes harder to find. The misconception that males are less cuddly and girly than females has disrupted the Maltese breeding market. Males are ready to bred when they're six months old, and they can get aggressive when they smell a female in heat. Number four, dependent versus independent. Male Maltesees are more loving and affectionate towards their human companions. They continuously seek your attention and always want to be around you. Even when mature, they have a playful approach to everything and tend to be more dependent on your help for their safety and well-being. A male Maltese's favorite spot is likely to be right beside you despite his age and maturity. The female Maltese is usually more independent. They could come to you when they seek attention, but immediately they've had their fill of the attention. They retire to their safe space. Female Maltese tend to be more mature and handle themselves better in your absence, so they are more reliable to stay at home while you're away for a short time. Number six, all around friendliness. Male Maltese are usually more outgoing and friendly. They are more accepting of new people, other pets, and children as well. Male Maltese tend to be more attached to people and form solid dependent relationships. They have a reliable temperament and are less moody. Female Maltese usually have a more reserved temperament. They are less accepting of visitors, other dogs, and new situations. Like many other females, a female Maltese is more susceptible to mood swings and is likely to have its favorite in the family. Number seven, aggression difference. Aggressive behavior depends more on your dog's training and upbringing than gender. Every dog is individual and both male and female Maltese can be aggressive. As part of social ordering behavior, male Maltese are more likely to posture, threaten, and challenge. Neutering prevents aggressive and territorial behaviors. The female Maltese are less likely to exhibit threatening behavior. However, they might bark a bit more because of mood swings and other irritations. However, both male and female Maltese are not aggressive towards humans. At last, we discuss which breed is right for your home. Whether you select a female or a male, the breed once known as the Maltese lion dog is an extraordinary animal. Although the myth that male Maltese are not as lovable as females has given the males a bad name, the opposite is true. Males are the cuddly ones that can fall asleep in your lap, and females are more mature and less likely to display their love to more than one human. Males and females can be challenging to handle before they're fixed, but they seldomly display aggression towards humans. 
Although they have slight differences, both sexes are generally well-tempered and loving. If you travel frequently and have to leave the dog alone, a female can handle your absence better than a male. Males are the lap dogs of the breed, and they suffer from separation anxiety if you're gone for too long. Finding a female from a breeder is more difficult due to their popularity, but you can save a few bills by buying a male. With proper grooming and dental maintenance, Maltese dogs live long, healthy lives. Both the male and female Maltese would make excellent additions to your family.